Coming up on 5-Minute News. Zelensky declares Day of Unity for Potential Invasion Day. Trump financial statements aren't reliable, says accounting firm. And flourishing plants show Antarctica is undergoing major climate change. It's Tuesday, February 15. I'm Anthony Davis. The Kremlin on Monday signalled it is ready to keep talking with the West about security grievances that led to the current Ukraine crisis, offering hope that Russia might not invade its beleaguered neighbour within days, as the US and European allies increasingly fear. Questions remain about Russian President Vladimir Putin's intentions, however, and countries are evacuating diplomats and are on alert for possible imminent war amid the worst East-West tensions since the Cold War. On a last-ditch diplomatic trip, Germany's Chancellor said there are no sensible reasons for the build-up of more than 130,000 Russian troops on Ukraine's borders to the north, south and east, and he urged more dialogue. Russia has moved some long-range artillery and rocket launchers into firing position, threatening Ukraine, according to a US official. Some Russian units have left their assembly areas, the bumper-to-bumper formation seen in satellite photos, and are beginning to move into attack positions, according to the official. Despite warnings from Washington, London and elsewhere that Russian troops could move on Ukraine as soon as Wednesday, Monday's meeting between Putin and Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov suggested otherwise. At the session with Putin, Lavrov argued that Moscow should hold more talks with the US and its allies, despite their refusal to consider Russia's main security demands. Meanwhile, President Vladimir Zelensky called on all Ukrainians to fly the country's flags from buildings and sing the national anthem in unison on February 16, a date that some Western media have cited as a possible start of a Russian invasion. The accounting firm that prepared former President Donald Trump's annual financial statements says the documents, used to secure lucrative loans and burnish Trump's image as a wealthy businessman, should no longer be relied upon, after New York's Attorney General said they regularly misstated the value of assets. In a letter to the Trump Organization's lawyer on the 9th of February, Mazars USA LLP advised the company to inform anyone who had received the documents not to use them when assessing the financial health of the company and the former president. The firm also said it was cutting ties with Trump. Mazar's letter, made public in a court filing on Monday, came just weeks after New York Attorney General Letitia James said her investigators uncovered evidence that Trump and his company used fraudulent or misleading valuations of its golf clubs, skyscrapers and other properties to get loans and tax benefits. James's office seeks to enforce a subpoena to have Trump and his two eldest children testify under oath in a civil investigation into his business practices. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office is running a parallel criminal investigation. The Attorney General has not yet taken any legal action against Trump, but she contends that her nearly three-year investigation has turned up enough evidence of wrongdoing to demand that Trump and his oldest children, Donald Jr. and Ivanka, answer questions under oath. Two native flowering plants in Antarctica are spreading rapidly as temperatures warm, according to the first study to show changes in fragile polar ecosystems accelerating over the past decade. The increase in plants since 2009 has been greater than the previous 50 years combined, coinciding with rapidly rising air temperatures and a reduction in the number of fur seals, according to researchers working on Sinai Island in the South Orkney Islands. Populations of Antarctic hair grass and Antarctic pearlwort have been studied by scientists on the island since 1960. Research found hair grass spread five times faster between 2009 and 2018 than between 1960 and 2009. For pearl wart, the increase was almost ten times more, according to the paper. In the past decade, summer warming has increased from 0.2 degrees centigrade to 0.27 degrees centigrade each year, despite strong cooling recorded in 2012. 
Antarctic terrestrial ecosystems respond quickly to these climate inputs, said lead researcher Professor Nicoletta Canoni from the University of Insubria in Como, Italy. I was expecting an increase of these plants, but not on this magnitude. We are receiving multiple evidences that a major change is occurring in Antarctica, she said. The primary driver of change is warming summer air, according to the study, which provides one of the longest records of changes in vegetation in Antarctica. A secondary reason is that there are fewer fur seals on the island, which trample on the plants. It's not known why the number of seals has declined, but it's likely to be related to changes in food availability and sea conditions. Warming trends are expected to continue, with more ice-free areas created over the coming decades, and scientists say the findings from Sinai Island are representative of processes happening in the region more generally. Our findings support the hypotheses that future warming will trigger significant changes in these fragile Antarctic ecosystems. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app. Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate, delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.